in this video we are going to discuss about what is a set how to create a set as well as basic set operations first let's see about what is a set set means a collection of elements which are enclosed in curly braces if you take list the elements are enclosed in square brackets if you take uh, tuple the elements are enclosed in parenthesis whereas set means the elements are enclosed in curly braces and all the elements are separated by comma symbol let us display a set s yes. so now we got the output as 10 20 30 30 in curly braces let us create one more set a set may contains collection of different data type elements also uh, let the first element is a floating point value 9.8 let the next element is a string we know that we have to enclose the string within either single or double quotations next one is a boolean value uh next let us take an integer value so we have integer value uh, float value string as well as boolean value uh now let's take a complex number let the complex number is 8 plus 9 j next close the curly brace now let us display yes so here we got the output in different order so that's why we can call set as unordered collection of elements why because uh, set will displays the output in any order if we execute the set one more time then we may get the output in any order in our, in the other order so that's why we can call set as unordered collection of elements whereas if you take list or string or tuple then we, we it is called as ordered collection why because output is same as input order whereas here we may get different output order so that's why set is an example for unordered collection of elements uh, let us create uh, one more set s is equal to 9 comma 2 comma 5 comma 7 comma 2 comma 1 now let us display the set so here we got the output as 1 2 5 7 9 but how many times two occurred in the set actually we placed two two times in the set but we got only once so that's why we can say that the elements of the set are unique so unique means if there are any duplicate elements then all those elements will gets removed so that means only one only one copy of duplicate element will be displayed okay so this is another important point the elements of the set are unique so that means uh, set will eliminates duplicate elements and only one copy of that element will gets printed so this is about uh, what is a set so set means a collection of unordered elements we can place a collection of different data type elements in the set and what is one more important point the elements of the set are unique so that means if there are any duplicate elements then those elements will be avoided only one copy of that duplicate element will get printed so in this way we can create a set now let's see how we can create an empty set in order to create an empty set we have to use a set constructor so if we want to know whether it is set or not Uh, then then let us use type function so type of s yes means class set so if you take a list we can create empty list with the help of this syntax l is equal to left square bracket right square bracket so type of l will gives list here the type is list if you take tuple then we use a parenthesis so type of t means uh, we will get output as uh, so what is type of t parenthesis means we will get uh, tuple as the output class tuple so likewise if you take uh, an example like this s is equal to curly braces if you display type of s then we will get dictionary as the output in dictionary also the elements will be enclosed in the curly braces so that's why if we want to create any empty set then we have to use as this set constructor set constructor s is equal to set so if you display s 
then that set will get printed why because set doesn't contains any elements now then after that if you want to add any elements to the set uh, we use uh, add method update method we have several other methods we will discuss all those uh, methods in the next video uh, so in this way we can create a set uh, now let's see about uh, some basic operations which we can perform on the sets uh, let us create a set now s is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 uh, let's see the basic operations which we can perform on the set the first operation is length for that purpose we use just len function so len of s will returns the length of the set so set contains five elements so that's why we got output as five and one more important point is we can access the elements of string or list or tuple using subscript operator using left square bracket right square bracket so in this we use uh, index value in the subscript we use the index value whereas coming to the set set doesn't support indexing so here there is no indexing slow so there is no slicing so why set doesn't supports indexing as well as slicing why because set means an ordered collection of elements we don't know in which order it will gives the output so in that occasion uh, if we execute one time then 10 may be at zero index if we execute another time then 10 may be at first index so there is no particular order here so that's why the concept set the data structure set doesn't supports indexing as well as it doesn't supports slicing if we try to access s of 0 then it will gives error message why because set object is not subscriptable likewise it is not possible to uh, to use the slicing also okay uh, so length operation is discussed now let's see the remaining basic operations the next operation is max so max of yes so what is the maximum element 50 so we got 50 as the output next min of yes it will gives the minimum element which is present in the set what is the minimum element 10 so we got 10 as the output uh, now let's see the next basic operation that is sum so sum of yes means uh, so 150 is the output all the elements are added and it will use the output okay here we can perform max operation min operation sum operation when all the elements are either integers or floating point value suppose if the string contains a suppose if the set contains a string then it is not possible to perform max operation min operation and sum operation so when uh, when the set contains numeric values some integers and floating point numbers then only we can perform these operations now let's see about uh, membership operators they are in and not in so 10 in yes so 10 is present in the set so it is returning boolean value now let's see about not in 10 not in yes but actually 10 is present in s so 10 not in s means it will returns the false let's take an example 100 not in s so 100 is not present in the set so it will returns true value so here in and not in are called as membership operators now let's see the last basic operation that is sorted sorted so what is set here set means here we got something like this so sorted of yes means we will get the output in the ascending order so now we got the output in ascending order so this is about what is a set and how to create a set as well as the basic operations in the next video we will discuss about set methods such as the add method update method remove method discard method pop method clear method uh, here we have one more operation that is del operation so by using del we can delete the entire set so del yes so if you use del statement then the entire uh, set will get deleted so if you try to display yes then we will get the error message okay so this is about what is a set how to create a set and the basic operations which we can perform on the set in the next video we will discuss about set methods we have plenty of mathematical methods are there. We will discuss all those methods in the next video.